Okay, Courtney, you said we built this trust. Okay, I've heard that so many times, but the reality is how? How did you build the trust? I think that a lot of it, if I wasn't able to um, to let him know my insecurities, to be honest with him about what I needed affirmation on, how can he meet me there? You know, how can he really, how can he, how can he do that? You know, if I'm not open with him about, okay, right. this is what bothers me, so I really need for you to talk with me right now and get me through this. Yeah. You know? And it takes, it takes, there's a risk. There's a risk yeah. in love. There's a risk that you will have your heart broken yeah. and, it, and it could happen. Yeah. Once you accept that risk and realize that, th that we're both building from the same place, you know, you're on even playing fields. But when each person is sitting there trying to say, well, I'm not giving up this part of myself yet. I can't, I'm not gonna let you have this. That's where the trust issues begin because people aren't willing to give both sides of them. Um, and when I know I have all of her, she knows she has all of me. Okay, I love there. what you are talking about in the sense of when you keep those sections of yourself back, that distrust is just gonna breed. It deepens when you really give yourself to each other, you know? When you're making these decisions though, just one thing I wanna, I wanna give to our listeners is, 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 is good principle is if it's a yes and a no, then it's gotta be a no for you, right? Mm. Because if, if, if one isn't comfortable. I don't know about that. Because that sounds like you're catering I can just say no all the time and oh what, get yeah. my but, way. But see, but see, we're also talking about giving ourselves to people, right? So, so you're not giving yourself, you're saying no, no, no all the time, right? Because there's not that give not and take there, right? Exactly, Okay, yeah. I'm still, but what if the no is my own hang up? Well, then you need Don't to get some I, issues dealt with. That's what I'm saying. I need to grow up. It, no, I but it's a trust. Purpose. It's a but trust that you're willing that to be to led. Grow up. It doesn't mean that he's supposed to cater to, to my, right. you know, problem. Right. Well, at some point, if, if, the, if the distrust is, is high or the person's insecurities are high, certainly maybe need some outside help. I mean, that's why counselors exist, right? That's why shows like this exist to help you through some of those issues, right? Ask us questions online if you want. But, but at some point, we have to move when people are ready. Like if you said, I'm doing these scenes whether you like it or not, right. and she's going, no. That would be a huge issue. It would Certainly. be an issue. So, so it may not feel good all the time if the person is pulling shoot all the time and not willing to work right. with the situation, but you can't run ahead either. Well, and, and realizing that, that when you do give a little, at that point she goes, oh, wait a minute, he, does, he cares. And I can give, I, I can give, so it makes the next time not as difficult. You know what I mean? Well, and I think like when Courtney was talking about, I know when I share my vulnerabilities or my weaknesses, it all depends on my husband's response, doesn't it? Sure. It does, because if they make you feel safe and like they actually heard what you said. And that they care what you said. And that they care about what you said, then you're going to keep sharing those kinds of things. Absolutely. Yeah. And he's going to be able to meet me there. And uh, now listen, um, we thank you for being here. But a lot of people watch and say, you know, they're just six, seven years married, you know, I mean. Baby. They're, they're, they're going to be another Hollywood minute marriage. Well, how are you going to answer that one? I mean, I, I'm not predicting doom because I'm on your side. I'm about, you know, 35 years married. I'm about making it work, right? right. But, but how are you going to deal with that? How are you going to face those pressures? Courtney, then go Mike. There's, there's, there's no answer that says, yes, you will, or yes, you won't go through that. There just isn't. Um, but for us personally, it's, it's our faith that kind of keeps us grounded and that we have to return to. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I mean, if I, if I ever said never, uh, I'm inviting, n not as a superstitious thing, but, but, but I'm inviting the never to happen. Right. Um, it's, it's realizing that, that you're saying there's no risk. There, there, yeah, it's, it's by, for us, it's only by God's grace that we are where we are, and, and we will, that's worked for six years, and we're gonna keep trusting that, hopefully for 60, okay. so. So there's three in your relationship? That's right. That's cool. Okay, listen, um, first of all, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being on Marriage yes. Uncensored. Hey, we appreciate it in here, it's great, hey? Awesome. Now, uh, if you want a link to Marriage Uncensored to get to Mike's uh, you know, his own website. We'd love you to do that. And stay with us for the bottom line because you'll get some hints that'll help you through your occupational hazards. Stay with us.